Hey you, what's good? GT7 Unlimited Money. If you saw my previous video about fully automated money making machine, then this video is also for you. First of all, thank you for the overwhelming support. Last time my mailbox was that full, it was because of an unpaid parking ticket. I am a random, unknown guy from Estonia, and I couldn't imagine so many people watching and commenting the video. One guy even sent a dollar with a comment. I didn't know that this was possible in YouTube. Amazing feature. So I've tried to answer most if not all of your comments and give you as much feedback as I can. But I see a common thread. For some of you, it's just plug and play. Everything works. But sadly for some of you, nothing works. Today I will address most of your questions and try to help you to get everything running properly. A quick update after recording this video. I received several comments that PlayStation Remote software has been updated and my macro is not working anymore. New version is 6.0 or 6.03 something, but the previous version 5.5 something ran the script beautifully. So for this video I will include the download link for this previous version. First and most popular question, does it work on Mac? PS Remote software does, but PS Macro software sadly doesn't. I can't confirm 100% that it doesn't work. There might be a workaround, but sadly I can't test it because I only have a PC. Next question. Does it run with PlayStation 5 controller? Yes and no, but I'm leaning towards no. You see, PlayStation 5 controller is tainted with a touchpad sensitivity. In order to get the signal from your controller to your PC and from your PC to your console, needs a warm touch of human hand or a piece of cheese. Sounds stupid? It's because it is. If you put a piece of cheese on the right side of your PlayStation 5 controller's touchpad, it will actually fool the script into running. But GT7 has implemented basically a signal that makes my script unrunnable with PlayStation 5 controller. So the first thing it does, it moves up when you activate it on PlayStation 5 controller. And it does it in random intervals, not only up, left, right and down as well. Meaning that it's RNG. I can't get the script fully running on PlayStation 5's controller. Used PlayStation controllers at the moment are on the cheaper side and easily obtainable. And I mean it comes down to how serious you are about this automation. I am a lazy brick and I would much more prefer to collect the money automatically. I wish it was that easy in real life as well. <laughs> Next question. My script is not running, numbers not rolling. Yes, there are a few reasons for that. Don't use PlayStation 5 controller. For start. The numbers will never start moving that way. Secondly, open macro software after you've set up all your PS Remote stuff. If the numbers are still not running with PlayStation 4 controller, just open the software and close it a few times. And do not use drop down menu play button. If the play button is green, then that means that the script is actually running already but just not working. So if you don't see the numbers rolling, that means something is wrong. So just restart and try again. Also, make sure that you really load your script in before pressing the play button. Does it work on laptop? It does, but to be honest, I tested it a lot and I couldn't quite get it running consistently. My problem was that the input signal coming from analog sticks didn't register at all or were really weak, so the car didn't turn properly. I am using it all on my ordinary PC and it still gets stuck sometimes. Give it a little nudge and it will continue running. And also if you have a possibility to lend a PC or, or a laptop from a friend or something, I recommend you give it a go to test it on another hardware. There are evenings when my macro gets stuck four times in a row and then it miraculously works 24 hours straight. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. So getting stuck on replay. Yes, a common issue for me as well. It's because the connection between your PlayStation Remote software and your console and your controller is somehow interrupted and the D-pad right press signal doesn't get through. I recommend restart your PC, restart your router and start everything from zero. Worst case scenario, Reinstall your PlayStation Remote software. I've done it twice now. It's also possible for another reason. I'll come to that in a second. By the way, a few days after publishing my previous video, my remote software is experiencing a lag. A lot of artifacting and it drags my PC's performance down. Basically, I can't do anything with my PC while the script is running. Weirdly enough, it messes with my resolution as well 
because now I can record and run the script at the same time and everything's running like butter. Amazing. So the second and most common reason for your replay issue is because you don't get good and consistent lap times. These aren't matching up with the script. You need your first lap to be between 55 and 58-ish seconds and your second lap about 52 seconds. If you don't get those times right, it messes up the script because it's all a timing issue. And it can also be the issue of the bad not registering. So the previous question answers that as well. So stuck in second and third gear and horrible lap times. So even if you followed my instructions and get everything set up properly, and you still get shitty lap times, there is a few ways to fix this. First of all, make sure that the game runs on easy difficulty. Secondly, change your car's tires. Try a different set. Some let you all grind and others don't. I'm using racing hard. Thirdly, if nothing prior worked, purchase an extra upgrade or two. Milk that store until you get your lap times right. Finally, I did everything and sometimes car gets stuck or spins out. Yes, it's called RNG. It's also called shit happens. If the game decides to screw with you, there is nothing to do really. Like positioning you in a different starting line. It happens every 20th race or so. I start from the left side, so the game needs to compensate. Meaning that someone might be in your way. It actually happened to me today. After 15 hours of perfect grinding, I opened my screen and saw my car nick another car and doing a perfect 180, basically ruining my run. Luckily I saw it right away and restarted my script and it's still running for 4 hours or so after the last re start. No one said cheating was easy. So for some of you who feel greedy, I'm at the same boat, I, I, I would like to earn more as well, please feel free to try to record your own script. You can try Pan America with Tomahawk, I think it's the best one. Some people have said something about a Tokyo track, also doable. I haven't included these scripts this year because those aren't consistent and not foolproof. You see, the less the controller needs to do, the less inputs it requires, the better. So if you drive a track that has many corners and your timing is off less than half a second, you turn in or out too soon. So narrow it down to a circle and try to optimize it. When you get there early, when you get there late, does it still work? Pan America and Tomahawk yielded me about 16 million credits in 24 hours. It was amazing and insane, but sadly not anymore. Because right D bad doesn't do five or six clicks anymore. It does seven or three, which means that the wrong competition starts and everything is screwed up. For those who watched until the end, thank you guys. Thank you for the awesome support. And I really hope that this video will help you out and get your script running and those credits rolling in. And thanks for all the new subs as well. I hope my future content doesn't disappoint. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time.